Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to the Panther's Lair. I've recently um, been at Harry's house. Um, I visited there a few times and uh, I must say that um, it, it was enjoyable, you know, I wouldn't go back there every day. You know, I was I was pretty much enjoying my time there, but um I was pretty much observing you know, observing uh the uh the features. I was enjoying what I enjoyed about my stay and what I did not enjoy about my stay, or what I just found a little boring. Um and Harry, I mean, you, you might know him. Harry Styles from One Direction, formerly from One Direction. You remember that band, right? Yeah. And Harry, I mean, he's probably the most successful of the group, to be honest. I um, can't really think of any other members that uh, really embarked on success and gained success like Harry has. So shout out to him. And this is a review of Harry's house. The album. I wasn't exactly at Harry's house, but we're going to pretend. And we're going to use this as a symbolic nature. Um, a metaphor, if you will. Into Harry's house. The sonic experience. So. Harry. Uh. I've I've never been a huge fan of Harry. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I do feel that he has some good songs. He has songs I enjoy, but as far as an album from him, front to back, I've pretty much only enjoyed the front, a little bit of the back, but the middle got a little iffy for me. And maybe it's not my vibe. And I'm sorry. But I could only be real with you and say that um, he just falters in certain departments for me. Whether it be sonically or vocally or songwriting-wise. But we're going to get into that. We're definitely going to get into that. Um, I do feel he does get a little inconsistent. You know, and I do feel like he does have moments that um, do captivate me a little bit. But sometimes, well, most of the time, he get very inconsistent. He get very inconsistent with the streaming of his influences, which we will get into. Now, Harry on this one, he's working with Kid Harpoon. Tyler Johnson, all in the production and songwriting front, which they they do pretty well on here. And Tyler Johnson has worked with big acts like Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, and uh, Jesse Ware. Per personal favorite of mine. If you haven't checked out her latest album, What's Your Pleasure, please check that out. But I digress. Pretty much like on this one, like there are interesting sonic moments and captivating moments to me, such as the synth arpeggios, fat bass lines, sentimental pianos, somber guitar licks of the acoustic guitar, and of course, those delicious trumpets on the opening track. And I also got to give credit to, to the interesting song angles that he has chosen here, whether it be the opener or whether it be Matilda, which is a nod, a very tasteful and thoughtful, heartfelt nod to Matilda. Now, I believe this is based on someone's actual experience 
but a tie into the book. Very well played, Harry. Very well played. And also, I got to give credit to to some characteristics to the vocals, especially on the opener with the Scooby Doo Doo's, because I don't know. Whenever someone throws that in there. I do feel they're adding character to it. I do feel they're adding personality to it. Now, one unforgivable sin to me is pretty much the overdubbing, the vibrating overdubbing of the vocals. Now, granted, when you're going for something natural, something soulful, I'm sorry, I do not want to hear overproduced effects. I don't. I feel that strips it away. It's like you become, you go from Harry Styles to Harry Cyborg or Harry Systematic at your service. And when you're a host, yes, you definitely should serve your guests well, but make it natural. You know, I, I don't want to be in the company of a robot. I'm sorry. I don't trust them. But Harry here does bring some soul to the table. It's just very inconsistent. I wish there was more consistency here, but there's not. Um, and I do feel that's where the album falters. However, I do feel at the end, he does wrap things up well. Whether it be... Like I said, that moment where he gets sentimental, but he makes it work. It's very tasteful. Such as The Closer, Love of My Life. Very well played. Very sentimental, very dreamy type of outro. Definitely a great way to take us out of here. Um, And at my stay at Harry's house, he did show me what he's into. He did show me his influences. However, I just wish he would do them a little, 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 little. No, not a little. We don't want a little. We want, we want a lot. A lot of justice. So, if you're going to show me your influences, do those influences well. Do those influences justice. Make it creative. And I feel like Harry is inconsistent with that, unfortunately. But I will say this is probably his best album that he's ever put out. So I didn't love this thing. But I do feel it's earned my enjoyment level of three out of five stars. Yeah, th three out of five stars. Now, I do feel that if you do enjoy something sweet on the ear, maybe something of a nostalgia factor, you may love this more than I do. However, due to the fact that I've heard so many albums that are like deemed as a classic, in my opinion, of the styles that he's going for. I want a little more. I'm picky. I'm sorry. But you know, that's just me. Different strokes for different folks. What did you think of this album? Did it make you want to dance? Did it make you feel? Or did it make you just want to go listen to some classics? Let me know. And the Panther will return.